My name is Tesney Ward, I'm a full-time photographer based just on the outskirts of the Peak District and I've been doing this as a job for around about four and a half years. Uh, before I was a photographer I was actually an athlete so I had spent all of my time working, training, trying to get myself into the best shape possible but unfortunately I ended up with an injury and that ended any potential career in athletics. So that gave me a lot of free time to be able to actually move into photography, which was something I enjoyed as a hobby, but I didn't have very much time for it up until that point. And because I live in such an incredible place, there are numerous species that I am able to work with, but the absolute key one for me is badgers. They're absolutely fabulous animals, so heavily misunderstood, and I have the privilege of being able to photograph a family in the Peak District, which again, I've been doing for about four years. I've been very fortunate that uh, some of my images have featured in awards, and I do also work with a few companies, including Olympus, Permajet, Benro, and obviously Photastic. Uh, helping to sell some incredible images from a variety of artists and photographers. So one of the great things about Photastic is they are very particular in terms of which photographers they work with. So you're only going to find some of the highest quality images available. And that means you're not going to have to scroll through as many libraries trying to find some work that suits your home decor and the kind of thing that you're looking for. On top of that, I am so impressed in terms of the quality of the end product. So when you are purchasing something like this, you know that you are going to get a high quality wall art canvas print and you know that it's going to last you for many, many years to come. So my current collection on Photastic features a range of British wildlife species, uh, including one particular image which was actually uh, the winner of the Animal Portraits category in the British Wildlife Photography Awards in 2018. So you're going to find things like badgers, squirrels, mountain hares, various wildlife that can be quite elusive and difficult to see if you're not actively out there looking for them but they are such incredible animals, they have so much personality, they have gumption and I often find that that comes across very well in images. So from the collection I have a couple of personal favourites and usually that's because of the story that's behind that image or the time it's taken to capture it. So one of the ones that I'm actually most proud of is the one titled Badger Cub. So this is the one that was awarded in the British Wildlife Photography Awards and it was also one of the very first images that I captured from that particular family of badgers. So I'd only found them round about two to four weeks previously and to be honest, I didn't really know what to expect there. I'd never seen badgers before, I'd never worked with them, and I was genuinely so chuffed with some of the results I was able to get. And it was even more of a blessing when, a couple of years later, it was eventually awarded. Another one that I would probably say is one of my favourites is the image of the red squirrel titled Curiosity. So red squirrels, they are quite difficult to see if you're not in the right part of the country. So there are a lot of small populations dotted across mostly northern England, some in Wales, but mostly up in Scotland. And these squirrels, again, they are awesome to work with. In this particular image, the squirrel ended up actually climbing onto my camera. So I was using a very wide angle lens obviously photographing him as he eventually came down the tree and when he ended up crawling onto me uh, that was obviously quite a nice bonus. I may not have been able to get any nice photos at that point uh, but obviously sometimes the experience is what's most important. One of the other key ones, it can be very tricky as a photographer to pick favourites because they all have their own unique backstory. But I would have to say that the other favourite is the image titled Lissa. So again, it's another badger, and it's a photograph of a particular individual when she was about six months old. And I would definitely say that Lissa was one of my personal favourites, because she just had a personality and certain behaviours that really made her stand out from her other three siblings. And this was a very, very nice evening. The light wasn't fantastic, but she actually ended up approaching me and got very, very, very close in the end. So that image was at the start of the approach. And it was really, really one of those experiences that will stick to me forever.